This video is sponsored by Pixlr, so a really easy to use browser photo editing application and you can do it all from your browser. So we have X and E, so this is the more advanced version and then the even easier to use version and they are both free. This one has a few more features that I like, so I use this to make my thumbnails. So as you can see, we've got all our tools here from clone stamp to text. And then we have our layers over here. We can zoom in and out. And it's just a very simplified, easy to use way to edit. And you also have lots of templates you can choose from uh, to build off to make it really easy. Yo guys, welcome back. We've got another one here from Andrew Jackson. So this time we are working with this image here. Just, just like warming up the image a bit, adding a bit of smooth this there's not too much in the editing yeah his style quite faded tones quite cool tones uh there's not a huge amount of editing going on but yeah he's also a guest editor where he takes you through him himself exactly how he edits so you guys can learn exactly how he does it you follow step by step along with a bunch of other really amazing photographers and if you're in the course you get the raw image to follow along in this tutorial or the dng so it will already have the settings applied so here's the finished edit that we want and the raw unedited one so we actually look pretty good out of camera in this one we just need to like can see there's a bit of a fade a smooth there's a bit more greens maybe in there and we just want this nice smoothness to the image obviously our subject stands out a bit more we look pretty good out of camera in this one so not giant changes need to be made let's up the exposure maybe a bit of contrast that we're pretty white balanced and stuff out of camera but so let's draw whites for flatness clarity we want that really soft fine look to the image and the glow you can see how it kind of creates a glow as well so we'll, we'll drop this a lot now i'll turn on curves and i'll explain the curves well just before i explain the curves let's up the blacks in the shadows a bit now and then maybe just like drop the saturation so it looks normal but you can see how that um how we when we turn these curves on darken the image a lot because we are dropping the color channels quite a bit like we're darkening all the shadows here we give this nice long bloom to the highlights up here brightening the highlights quite a bit so it's gonna make the highlights pop quite a bit more but yeah definitely darkening a lot of the image and as for color is a slight favor to pulling out the blues so we're going to get a bit of warmth throughout the image because we've got less blue so and then in this curve not a lot going on going on here so we're well we're dropping the whites it's quite a big one so you can see how we just flatten them a bit and we don't have a fade to blacks but we are just like just softening those shadows a bit there because we do drop them quite a bit in the other channels um maybe whites could come back a bit back a bit and what we should have done enable profile corrections doesn't look like much happens though we'll do chromatic aberration and we didn't go over the settings before so the settings are f5 pretty large subject so like we want the entire subject in focus i guess 120 mil uh, shutter at least double your focal length iso pretty low because it's not too bright okay so hsl let's just really fine tune these colors like you can see the subject needs like just a bit more red in the dark areas so let's grab the orange and go a little bit to the left and that just changes the oranges a bit so we want these greens to stand out a lot more now they they're looking very orange and warm so we'll just cool off see how they go more of a true green ever so slightly if we go this way so we'll go this way there's very little blues in this yeah little we could probably just leave them there aquas i don't see any so we'll just leave them he does have a little bit of an, a teal effect going on so like i would 
probably go this way in other images just like a touch like maybe like that or something in his other images so saturation our subject let's go to luminance because this is gonna play the biggest role here i reckon so let's make our subject pop here so luminance is the brightness of colors let's brighten luminance the reds here so if i look at like this area of the image and our area of the image i'd say it's gone this way because it's decreasing the brightness of the yellows and then greens just if i look like super closely say this green spot here what has he done he definitely hasn't brightened his dimnum so with that saturation and then there's a lot of yellows in your greens let's make our subject pop more that is orange by taking out yellows it might might have been his thought process in this image and let's make our subject uh, now we're about good greens good reds got a tiny bit of reds so mainly in the subject we maybe look a little too purple ever so slightly and then the yellows let's go here again so we don't have enough green like or yellow i'd say yellow throughout the entire image we look very very orange i think our subject is good and the grass is holding all the yellows so i think our subject looks good in terms of color so we want more greens to the grass so we're gonna shift it this way um play with yeah there's not a lot going on we'll just leave those okay so we need to make the subject pop a bit better so if we come up here now we've got some filters and we'll go over them so we've got one up the top here and i could tell there was a filter up the top because our subject is quite bright there's no way to make the sky that bright without making our subject too bright if that makes sense so what we're going to do to match up his so for the first brush up here like there's such a glow up the top here so it's not i mean filter not brush let's just drop the clarity and we'll get a bit of a glow going on by dropping this um, we'll grab another filter so we've got another one up here and this one again for the sky and a bit of the background so we want it brighter we need it brighter so we want to create quite a dreamy glowy hazy image uh, highlights maybe helps with the glow and possibly some whites just for a bit of a punch but what we definitely want to do is now that it's brighter we need more clarity to be dropped so it's going to add to that hazy feel it's affecting our subject a little bit but that's okay it just makes the gives adds to the vibe and then we're going to do the same at the bottom of the image so we've got this one here and what we're going to do is drop the clarity so drop the clarity it just takes attention away from it like people won't look at the detail as much if it's all blurry and then we've got another one down here and all right, so what we want to do is just darken the foreground okay so we can just drop exposure maybe some blacks just to really get them gone maybe some shadows yeah so if you're wondering what that does is it just frames our subject like uh we don't look down here anymore because it's blurry and black we look up to the subject and then we've got the bright dreamy background so it just adds depth and layers to your image in terms of brightness and contrast and also framing our subject better so yeah if we go reset or after not a huge amount of change because it was exposed and white balanced pretty well and we're not doing a huge amount of color work to it we probably just added in some warmth the curves uh, no split toning or anything like that or after again so if we go reset bang so, so probably the biggest keys to this image was the drop in clarity for that glow and the texture of the image uh, dropping the saturation just because those curves added in so much saturation luminance kind of like making the subject pop a bit more uh, depends on your preference there on style not too much sharpening to keep it nice and fine grain maybe there's a bug in lightroom where you can't see the grain at the moment we've got a little bit of a drop to the whites keeping that nice and smooth there's not too much like there's not even a fade to the blacks like it could be a could be a fade like if we did something like this drop the contrast different look 
uh, we didn't need to do that and yeah that's it for this one guys so if you don't already follow the course Instagram page, so I'll link that down below. Uh, give Andrew a follow as well. I'll link him down below as well. Otherwise, guys, just keep commenting people you want to see, people that have really great edits that you want me to feature on this YouTube channel. So it really helps me when you comment them down below. It really helps me if you do that. If you guys want to learn basics of color and the curves, there's a free training in the description. You need to watch that free training if you want to edit photos it's the mandatory things you need to know in that free training to get you up to speed and you'll be able to follow these youtube tutorials much better if you watch that free training so uh, that's all guys catch you in the next one if i didn't have your videos i think those guest editors would not be of much help because mm. you're doing stuff i would not understand you know your guidance so yeah. i think it's the combination that that really makes it valuable that's awesome exactly what i go for there i really like how you structured it even when you're watching a guest editor uh, it's hard to you can see it and that that in itself is huge but then trying to understand you know what's in their mind why have they done that i think that can help you understand that that can help you create your own style that can help you be more deliberate and you know choose all these little building blocks to make your own uh, you know when when you define that so i find that and, and your kind of search for like the why you're doing that, not just this is how, is, is, is super, super useful and powerful.